Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a responsive grid in Sketch. So this is especially useful if you do responsive web design for the wide range of devices that are available today and designing on a responsive grid is incredibly, incredibly helpful. So I've created a new Sketch document and I'm going to start by going up to Insert and selecting artboard and we can pick a preset or we can just left click and drag and draw our own in fact from the right i'm going to specify a particular size so we'll just go for 1300 pixels wide and a thousand high and don't worry that can be changed later on so we have our artboard here now you can apply these measurements to other applications but Sketch does have a rather handy feature up here on the right. If you go to View and down to Layout Settings, and this box pops up. So we need columns selected, and the total width we're going to set at 960 pixels. This is the total width of our grid. Now the offset here depends on the size of your artboard, so we can increase that, and you can see that the guides are moving across the artboard. Now, the easiest thing to do here is rather than set a specific value, just click on center and it will centrally position your grid within your artboard. And we're going to set the number of columns to 12 and gutter on outside. Now, the columns are the darker areas and the gutters are the space between each column. So you can't see this because the background's white, but there is also a gutter on the left and the right edge. So that's what that option there means. Now the gutter width, remember that's that space in between, is 20 pixels and the column width themselves is 60 pixels. And we can turn on rows but we don't really need this so we'll leave that switched off. And you can choose whether you have a stroke outline or a fill grid. And you could select the dark and the light colours so you'll see here I've selected the lighter colours and I can adjust that so I can make my grid visible or even less visible depending on my preference. And you can set this as a default if it's something that you're going to use often. So once you've done that and created your grid, click OK. And you can see there that we have our responsive grid and we can now align various objects to this when we're designing. And we can also select the artboard and let's say we had a width of 1920. So we're working with a much wider artboard, all we need to do is go up to view, down to layout settings and select center again and it will position our grid back in the center of that artboard and we can go up to view, down to show layout and you can see here we can quickly either deselect it to turn it off or go show layout and it switches it back on. And there we go, that's how to create a responsive grid in Sketch. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.